Welcome back, everyone. It's me, Mr. Four Chaos Killer. So I've been getting some questions on my uh, Facebook Messenger. Hey, Mr. Four K, regarding the filmmaker mode, can you use filmmaker mode on a PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo? Can you use a filmmaker mode on a video game? Simple answer is yes, you can, but I don't see why would you do that? Why would you want to do that when you already have a, a game mode that will help you get that best possible uh, performance and picture quality? But you can use it if you want to. Uh, how does it play? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. So let's dive right into it. All right, so here's the filmmaker mode. Now, it's not bad, uh, and there's a couple of reasons why it's not so bad. Uh, I love that warm tone of color that they're using because it's easy on the eyes. It's like when you're playing that vertical alignment monitor that you know it has a little bit of that yellowness to it, a little bit of that sepia, warm tone of color. It's kind of the same thing here. Um, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and here's the reason why it's not so bad, because... Here's what Filmmaker does. It removes all those other filters. All those other filters that the game mode removes as well. The motion flow uh, and um, dynamic contrast, etc., etc., etc. It removes all of these other features as well. So it's not that bad, as you can see. Not bad at all. Um, and here's another thing. Another thing I want to point out. You still have the game response mode turned on. And you still have a free sync turned on. So you're still getting uh, low latency here. See, that's that's the trick part. You're still getting that low latency. And it looks pretty good. Here, maybe you can look at my controller. I don't know if that's going to... Uh, it's really hard to judge from a camera. And I'm trying to do my damn best here. I'm trying to do the best I can uh, to showcase that. But clearly here, you will see the way I'm moving a controller here. Uh, yeah, filmmaker mode. There, I mean, look at it. Maybe I can do a photo. Maybe we can take a photo here. Uh, just to kind of give you a little better idea. I can uh, hide the menu and just kind of uh, scroll to here just to give you a little better sense of uh, how it looks. Here, maybe I can get a little bit closer. And here's another great thing about the filmmaker mode. It reduces that grain. I swear to God, because now that all these other filters are turned off and the sharpness is probably moved down to the minimum, uh, you see less of a grain. Honestly, here, maybe I can bring my camera a little bit closer. You, you're going to be hard pressed to, uh, to see that grain hard press to find it here anywhere here here look hard press to find that grain you're not gonna see it and it looks pretty darn good here you are barely gonna see that grain here, let me give you a better perspective here a little bit. Um, I mean, so filmmaker mode, hey, listen, uh, I'm not saying that you should use the filmmaker mode. Filmmaker mode, it's intended only for the movies. But uh, I have no issues using it. And clearly, as you're going to see right here, I'm going to show you. Uh, I have no problem. Uh, latency is the same. Uh Input lag, it's pretty much the same. And this is the lowest input lag as you're going to get on the OLED from this TV, from the 10 series. And uh, so if you want to use a filmmaker mode, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I have no problem. I have no issue with that if you want to use it. And also to point out the instant game response, it's always turned on. It's always there. 
you see it's always turned on so it's you're always gonna have the best possible response okay you're always gonna have that lower latency with when this is turned on you're never gonna have to worry about oh is the filmmaker on or not doesn't matter you're always gonna have that best low latency same thing goes with a free sync premium if it's turned on it's turned on it doesn't matter and the same applies for G-Sync. If you have a NVIDIA GPU connected to this 48-inch uh, OLED television, guess what? You're going to take the advantage of G-Sync. Or if you have AMD, you're going to take advantage of FreeSync. So it doesn't really matter which one you have. It supports both. It supports everything. And on top of that, you're getting a kick-ass Dolby Atmos Dolby audio processing built-in speakers behind it and I'm gonna just showcase how beautiful these speakers sound here let me show you right now I'm using AI sound pro which is my favorite they got other options they got OLED surround on which I have they got cinema they got clear voice sports music game I like AI Sound Pro, and I'll show you how good this AI Sound Pro is. Here, let me turn the volume up. Listen to this. I'll get a little bit closer. I'll get a little bit closer. Maybe you guys can hear it better here. Listen. Listen to that water when she, when the when the, uh, the horse is galloping. Sounds beautiful, man. Yeah, I'll go a little bit further. Listen to the birds in the background. Okay, so again, if you want to use a filmmaker mode, feel free to use a filmmaker mode. Uh, I honestly wouldn't have any issues or any problems using it. As you can see clearly, it works just fine. So there's your answer. You guys, you guys asked the question, I answer. And I answer it to you with a video. So again, thanks to LG for gifting this video. I hope that these videos will show you why I specifically choose OLED and LG because LG really brings you the best value for your money and isn't that what you want when you spend your hard-earned cash you want something in return you want value well you're gonna get that value and I'll show you throughout coming days throughout coming weeks that value thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the live stream. Cheers. Have a good one.